Hey guys, it's Lian Ep. Welcome back to DIY Beauty on Purpose. Today I'm working on these two nightstands that I got on Marketplace. They have seen better days. They're filthy and a little beat up, but overall they're in really good shape and very sturdy. I'm so excited to get them painted and give them a new life. Um, I'll be using some chalk paint and I'll be using some stenciling, which I'm so excited to show you. As always, first thing is first, getting things taken off and giving it a good scrub. I was missing one of the little knobs, these little wooden hole fillers, I don't know what they're called, but I filled it uh, with um, some putty. I gave everything two coats of primer. Reason why is because it is very dark and there were some areas that the um, finish was chipped off and it was just bare wood and a lot of times yellowing, ha yellowing happens when that is bare like that. So. I wanted to make sure that um, no yellowing was going to come through, so I added two coats of regular, um, I believe it was Kills um, stain blocking primer. Alright, so I am using Bear's Chalk Paint and you can get this, I get it at Home Depot and this is uh, their beige tone and at first, I'll be honest, I was not a fan. Normally, I like warmer tones when it comes to like my beiges and that, but this seemed a little too cool, but I gave it a chance, gave it two coats and I actually really liked it. This is a better angle and you can see the color tone of the beige. Um, looking at it now, I'm like, yeah, I guess it's not too bad. But when I first saw it in person, it just to me, it just seemed maybe a little too yellow. I think that's what it was. But um, overall, I thought it turned out pretty good. Once the two coats were fully dry, I added the stencil to the front. So I know you're probably thinking, what in the world is Leonette thinking <laughs> when adding a clock to the front of a dresser? I am not adding a clock. I'm just adding the middle portion of the clock that I really like. It's a French stencil and I just thought it would look really cute. So no numbers are going to go on the front of the side table. It's just the middle of the stencil. There's what that stencil looks like in the middle. And now I'm adding another stencil and I'm going to add it very randomly and very random places and just not just a light stencil on it of some French words. 
So my goal with the stencil is not to make it's to make it look random, make it look like the words kind of faded over the years. So that's why you'll see that I'm just kind of stenciling very randomly and not at straight lines so that it looks like it's faded. I'm getting ready to distress. I am going to distress the edges of the entire um, two tables and I am using my palm sander and a 220 grit sandpaper and of course my face mask to protect my lungs. And um, after I finish the edges and distressing, I then take the 220 grit sandpaper by hand and just lightly sand all over so I get a smooth finish. And also so that the stencils also get like a, a, a little bit of a light distress. I sealed everything with polycrylic in the satin finish and I gave everything two coats but the top I gave three for a very durable finish. I added the hardware back on it. It did not need much to it. I love the patina that it had to it so I just wiped them down and put it back on and then cleaned off any dust from the sanding and I'm all done. All right, so here's what these tables looked like. Here's what they look like now. Oh my goodness. What a difference and how stunning do they look. I just ended up loving the beige tone. I loved the gray stencils on it. And overall, I just think they look beautiful. I want to take a quick time here to thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I invite you to do so. I hope you enjoyed this video. I surely had a blast filming it and I hope you have a blessed, blessed day.